Hello, Ms. Gaga. Welcome to Hello. Radio TV. Great having you with us. Thank you for having me. Congratulations for your performance. Quite impressive. Thank you. This is not really a musical, right? Like everybody was told like, okay, now Joker is a musical, but from my perspective, it's a very different and risky take on the story we're supposed to know about Joker. Please tell us your impression about the script when Todd told you, you know, to be part of this story. I thought the script was really interesting and I just loved the way that Todd wanted to tell the story. I also like really fell in love with Arthur Fleck, the character in the first movie and uh, his story, the way that we can kind of like start rooting for somebody that is just being beaten over and over again by society. Um, what that does to a person. And so I, I loved in this script that we got to see what happened in Arthur Fleck's life next. And my character, Lee, was a huge part of that. Um, it was their love story. And, it, and, you know, Todd's version is this totally wild ride. And your character also kind of grows through the movie, through the mu movie with like music, you know, like the first time we see her is, is she has this little voice and then it's just, a huge character like in the last scene on the stairs, right? The, did you get that impression too? You know, um, definitely. The, I, I used my voice in a lot of different ways in this movie and it had a lot to do with storytelling, I think, in a more surreal way. Mm -hmm. um, that was really fun for me also as an actor to be able to envision the storytelling with my co-star and uh, with Todd in a way that was not really literal. It was like, how do you use music? How do you use the circumstances? Um, how do you use behavior in order to create a painting? So yeah, at, at moments she's very quiet. At other moments she's very loud. There's times when the fantasy between the two of them is more muted and there's other times when it's just completely wild. So, you know, I use my voice in a way to be able to tell the complexity of mm -hmm. the story and their love. Okay, one last question. Uh, of course, we've seen you perform uh, as an actor, singer, and a star is born, right? But this time, you're not a singer. Like, your character does not have that voice, that powerful voice. So, could you tell us a bit about that? How, like, how was it like to perform someone singing but not showing the capacity you have? Well, you know, it was what was right for the character. Mm. I had to find Lee's voice. And, you know, her, her voice in a lot of ways sometimes was very fragile and very vulnerable. And I w was able to ultimately find a beauty in that. And it was actually very freeing for me once I, once I discovered it. Um, I realized I wasn't going to have limitations in any direction that I went in. Um, you know, there's moments where my voice is really big in this film, but it's it's for a very specific reason. Uh, so I liked that I had all of it at my disposal. And, you know, I think that's the complexity of a female. You know, women are, sometimes we're quiet and we're loud. Sometimes we are, you know, uh, colorful or we're very gray. Um, it, it's... It, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be one thing. You, you can be as genre defying as the movie is and you can de define yourself maybe in being undefinable.